Welcome to section 5 of the course which is performing cluster analysis and decision trees. In this section we will first see the introduction to cluster and what are the different types of cluster analysis. Then we will understand the PROC cluster procedure which is used to perform cluster analysis. Then we will look into how to perform k-means clustering on one of the fish data set or electronic data set. Then we will look into exploring decision trees in SAS. At the end we will learn and create a decision tree model for a financial loan problem. Let's start with introduction to cluster. A cluster is a collection of data objects which are very similar to each other but are different from objects from other clusters. This process of dividing datasets into groups is called cluster analysis and is used in many fields like marketing, earthquake studies, pattern recognitions, planning of cities, biology, etc. Clustering is a type of unsupervised machine learning technique and is used in cases of unlabeled data. For example, Netflix and other entertainment industries provide recommendations on movies, etc. based on what the user has watched in past. Similar movies or movies related to the user's histories are recommended. This is with the help of cluster analysis. How clusters are formed from a group of objects by grouping similar or related objects into one cluster. Data objects in one cluster would be different from data objects of the other cluster. So as shown in the below example, before clustering all the objects are mixed. After clustering, it has grouped similar objects. So you can see all the balls are together, then triangles are together and squares or cubes are together. This is just a basic example to show how clustering is performed. So basically, it groups similar objects into each one cluster and one cluster is different from the other cluster in terms of the data points which it contains. Now let's look at what are the different types of cluster analysis. There are two major types of cluster analysis, supervised and unsupervised. The various clustering techniques which are available are k-means cluster analysis, fuzzy cluster analysis, hierarchical cluster analysis and hybrid cluster analysis. Now let's have a look at what each cluster analysis means. k-means cluster analysis. In this analysis, each data point or observation is assigned to the cluster iteratively in such a way that there is minimal distance between each data point and the center of the cluster. Fuzzy cluster analysis. In this analysis, each observation is placed in a cluster based on the probability of its membership in a set of derived factors which are called fuzzy clusters. Then hierarchical cluster analysis. In this analysis, it starts by treating each observation as a separate cluster. Then, it repeatedly performs these two steps of the first one, identify two clusters which are closest to each other and then second, merge two similar clusters. These steps continue until all clusters are merged together. The last one is hybrid cluster analysis. This analysis is basically a combination of k-means and hierarchical analysis. Here, at first, centroids of clusters are generated and saved in the output data and then number of clusters are decided by fitting this output data into hierarchical model. At the end, using k-means cluster methods, observations are assigned to different clusters. So these were the different types of cluster analysis which are mostly used. 